passed by this grocery store called Lady York Foods, so I wanted to check out what's inside. This grocery store was quite large, so they have quite a few aisles and lots of products to choose from, which is nice because normally when you go into an independent grocery store or like a small business, it tends to be on the smaller side. Um, this is like a really large size grocery store or like an average size. So you can find a lot of similar things you would find in like your Metro or Loblaws or No Frills, but there's mostly a lot of specialty Italian imported type of products, a lot of things that I wouldn't find elsewhere. had the same type of products you would find in an international food aisle if that's what it's called in other grocery stores so you could find similar items from different countries different parts of the world a lot of it is Italian but you can really find anything that this grocery store was quite affordable and reasonably priced so it was nice to see they had a lot they had a lot of artisanal type of products but also like your regular products because in Toronto we have quite a few of these boutique type grocery stores like Pusateri's and those places are quite expensive I find like you have to be rich to be shopping there like every week so or that's my opinion but for like normal people I like that this is like a good selection and good price and you can still find like really unique stuff that you wouldn't find elsewhere this place is like the smaller and cuter version of Fortino's which is another type of Italian grocery chain so it does have things I've never seen inside of Fortino's which I thought was interesting pasta they had was like Italian pasta or made in Italy that you could find in the store and then they also had a selection of pastas that are not made from wheat like gluten-free pastas and different ingredients like corn. During the pandemic or during the lockdowns visiting grocery stores was one of the few things you could do so even now that's over, I still enjoy visiting different grocery stores because I think it tells a lot about a neighborhood, it tells a lot about the people in the area, and even if you go to like a no frills or something like that, so each one is going to have different products based on what the people in the area want, right? So I think it's really cool. I'm always fascinated with what people are eating. I think that your local grocery store can get so boring after so long because it might not have all the ingredients or things you want and it's it can be very limiting in the type of deals and the type of produce they offer so going outside the box I love to see what other neighborhoods have to offer. squash season they had squash on sale it was 79 cents a pound which is great so it was like two fifty three dollars per squash which is so much better than six dollars or whatever ridiculous price you're paying for your squash
this is what I got from the Lady York grocery store. I got these tomahawk chips in the flavor fire chip. It's spicy. This is an Aboriginal owned potato chip company. I've actually never seen this in any grocery store in Toronto or maybe I just wasn't looking but let's try this later and see what it tastes like and they only had three flavors. They had regular, they had barbecue and this fire chip flavor so I'm guessing okay here it says chili pepper it's just gonna have a chili flavor let's see what that is gonna taste like this was also $3.99 so it was four dollars then I got this squash which was 79 cents a pound so a whole squash for $2.31 it's like an average medium sized squash then I got this artichoke bruschetta, which I'm excited to try. This was $5. And just regular old garlic. How much is the garlic? The garlic was $1.68, but it's, I guess, the good quality garlic, if you can call it that. Then I got this pasta. It was $2.49 in the style gnocchi number 45 and i got this one that looks like clouds so i thought it was cute it's supposed to go with the theme here it's like cloud shaped pasta i've never tried this kind before i don't think there's anything special about it it's just pasta then i got this Greek style pita bread. It's just your regular looking pita bread. This, I think there's five inside. This was $1.99. And partially also $1.99. And beef on sale for $3.34. So altogether, this cost a total of $23.30, which I think is a pretty good deal including tax so i got pretty interesting stuff that i can't always find in other places and i like that i probably spend around the same amount if i was at no frills if i was by the way this is a size haul that i do for one person usually so i'm trying this artichoke bruschetta just show you the ingredients simple and I just toasted some pita and I'm just having a quick snack so let's try it I mean it's nice it tastes like um, what is it called the pickled artichoke that you find in the store but it's obviously like pureed down so it kind of has the consistency of eggplant spread or barbecue actually this could work with so many things i would totally use it as a spread in like a nice sandwich if you're one of those fancy people that likes to make your own spreads your own sauces and things like that this would be a really good project if you try to make your own artichoke bruschetta or artichoke spread so i'm just really interested in trying this now. I love the design. Spicy flavor. I'm use the same plate here. That's what it looks like inside the bag. So this is the ruffle style chip. Let's try one. It tastes like a smoky flavor it tastes like it's there's like a smoky flavor it is a bit of a like a smoky mesquite flavor um which i prefer because i'm not really into the barbecue flavor it's too sweet for me 
So if you want something that kind of tastes like barbecue, but it's smoky and it's not as, um, it's not as like tangy as all dressed, I would recommend trying this if you can find it. Let me know if you've ever tried this brand of chips or if you have it in your area, in wherever you live, if you happen to live in Canada. Okay, another way to describe it, it's kind of like barbecue if it wasn't sweet but it's got like a hickory flavor it does remind me now of hickory flavor chips just with like a little bit of that all dress flavor so that it's not too um sour tasting or anything like that or yeah it's just kind of in between mesquite hickory and all dressed and the spice it does stay in your mouth like you get a spice aftertaste that lingers in your mouth a little bit longer than other chip brands I've tried.